Hello everyone and welcome to the channel and today's episode is very special as Google pushed some really cool AI features to a lot of its apps that you should definitely know about. So without further ado, let's jump in. Let's start with Google Photos and the first change is this new ellipsis button that sticks at the top of the page even when you scroll down. Tapping on it will give you this new floating menu. Here we have a new addition called stack similar photos which I'm going to talk about later but we also got a new section called layout which will allow you to change the layout for your gallery you have either comfortable day or month this is not a new feature but previously to do the same action you had to pinch to zoom like this but now Google made it a bit more descriptive now let's talk about stacking similar photos this feature is off by default so you have to turn on the toggle once you do this it will automatically group similar photos with the help of ai which will help you in two ways first it will make it easier to identify duplicates and also clean up your gallery so let me show you one of the examples i have as you see those two photos look very similar and the ai will not only group similar photos but it will also set the best looking one as the main photo and give it a tag at the top left called top pick with a dot on the top of the thumbnail and if you want to change the stack settings you can tap on the grid button then the ellipses and here you have the ability to unstack the photos or create an animation and when you open individual photos and then swipe up you will see other options like the ability to set as top pick which is the other one remove from a stack or keep this one and delete the rest and when you select multiple photos from within the stack menu you will get all the options at the bottom and you can also expand this card like this and by the way you will see the same exact interface when you take long exposure action pan photos or use video boost but instead of saying top pick at the top left corner it will say main photo so that's it when it comes to Google Photos. Now let's talk about Gcam, which got a very useful feature when you take zoomed photos. As you may know, if you have the Pixel 8 Pro, once you reach 20x or more, you get this zoom assist at the top right corner. But what's new here is the ability to choose which part of the frame to capture by dragging your finger over the zoom assist and then position your frame instead of moving your hand, which is very challenging in zoomed photos and also it will help you a lot when you take moon shots or far away objects next google messages and it got a killer feature which is the ability to chat with gemini directly from your native messaging app and that made it much easier to play around with it without the need to download anything extra you have two ways to start chatting with gemini either by going to the conversation directly or tap on the start chat button at the bottom right corner and it will always come as the first option in the list this new integration will give you multiple advantages first you can get back to the conversation history at any time and when you tap and hold on any reply from gemini you have the ability to give thumbs up and thumbs down you can copy at your favorites or forward to any of your contacts and finally report a legal issue you can also react to the replies using these reactions same as any normal message and it will also respond to your reactions so in this case I reacted with a thumbs up and it says here I'm glad you like it while I do like this new integration but there are some missing features that you can only find in the Gemini app like the ability to modify the responses to make it shorter longer simpler and so on it can read the responses which is not possible in Google messages and here you can also share the chat as a public link and include others which is missing from Google messages as well I also found that deleting individual messages is not possible but you can delete the whole chat under the ellipses and start over again but overall I think it's a great step in the right direction this new feature is currently in beta testing on select devices like the pixel 6 and later the pixel fold and Samsung phones starting from the s22 series so what about my experience with Gemini in Google messages it works pretty much the same as the web version you can upload images and ask questions about them it can generate images with the ability to download them to your phone's storage and it uses the same extensions so you can ask questions about your gmail inbox it can get you results from youtube and google maps in addition to google drive and when it comes to the response time some of the commands are as fast as expected while others might take a longer time and one of the examples i have here when i asked about what's new in my gmail inbox it took about 20 seconds to give me the response besides gemini google messages also got a couple of new features starting with the chat when you search for anything and then tap on the result you have multiple options the first one is the ability to see it in chat 
which will take you there right away and also you can open the link from here copy it or share it and when you look for places for example it will give you another shortcut for google maps the account picker also got updated and now the other accounts you have on device will appear as grayed out if not signed in and when you tap on any of them it will first give you a confirmation message if you want to continue when you hit continue it will show you here that switching to another Google account might lead to losing some features. In this case, Magic Compose and device pairing depends on what account you are using. But if you still want to continue, you can tap on switch accounts. Next, Keep Notes. Same as Google Messages, now you can use Gemini in Keep Notes to create lists. And when you get the feature, once you create a new note, you will find this blue button at the bottom right corner called Help Me Create a List. It will give you a text box to put your command prompt in this case, I will ask it to create a checklist for outdoors hiking and hit create. Once done, you will get the results. You have the ability to modify it using this refresh button. Or you can tap on the text box to modify your command. You can give feedback or insert it to your notes. And once you do this, it will automatically give a title and show you everything in check boxes that you can interact with. Google Maps also got its own share of AI. And now we have the lens button in the search bar. When you tap on it, it will first ask you to hold your phone in portrait view and point it towards the storefronts or signs. And that's when it will give you more information about the place. So let me show you a real life scenario. So here I tried the feature in the street and once I hold my phone upright, it will start show me the place names in these cards. You can see the rating, the type of store and the working hours. Tapping on it will open the store page. And in some cases it might show you how busy is the place. Like in this case, it says here not too busy fine dining and the rating. Not only this, but you also have the ability to choose a specific type of places to be shown and you have some filters over here. In this example, I tapped on restaurants. And once I did that, I can only see restaurants on the map. Plus it will guide you when you move your camera towards the uh, nearest place to you. And in this case, I have the Boulevard restaurant. Plus you get some follow up filters at the bottom. You can only choose the restaurants that are open now, choose the rating and so on and so forth. And lastly, when you finish using the camera in this position and hold your phone normally, it will automatically change into a map view with live location. You can see the places and you have the same filters. And if you decided to navigate to a specific place from the Google Lens page, it will also allow you to use the camera when you hold your phone upright it will show you the directions live and once you tilt your phone again it will change into the map view talking about google lens the circle to search feature is now available on much more devices google decided to push it to the pixel 6 and 7 series including the a models the galaxy s23 series the galaxy z fold 5 z flip 5 and the galaxy tab s9 in addition to the pixel fold the second change is the addition of a new translate button to immediately translate whatever you see on the screen with the ability to change the languages from here and pinch to zoom if you want to. And the last AI feature I'm going to show you in this video is in the YouTube app. And now Google decided to automatically generate the video chapters using AI if the content creator didn't put the timestamps in the description. And you will see this banner at the top saying these chapters are auto-generated. Tapping on the ellipses will allow you to learn more or cancel, which is a win-win situation for both the content creator and the viewer. Even when I upload my own videos, now I have the ability to allow or disallow this feature. So these are the top AI features Google pushed to its array of apps and I think they make a big difference in the user experience. So please let me know in the comments what do you think. But for now, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.